Hello and welcome to another update video about MANA Decentraland. This is a chart that I think in the next few days could get quite interesting. Um, the yellow wave count here on this chart shows you the bullish scenario with a potential breakout in a fifth wave to the upside on the weekly chart, um, targeting potentially here the $6 mark. Yeah, This is also a potential bull market target. Um, Basically, what I'm watching for here is a wave one that peaked in 2018, a wave two to the downside, which bottomed here in 2020, potentially a third wave to the upside, which peaked here in 2021, then an overshooting B wave there. And the fourth wave is coming down now with a potential fifth wave to come. So a successful breakout before we break below 13.9 cents, yeah, could lead here to a fifth wave higher. Um, key or point why I highlight this could become interesting in the next few weeks is because it's approaching the 38.2 retracement level, which is the 25 cent level, which is the ideal target for a fourth wave after a third wave rally. Yeah, So we're measuring here the length of the third wave gives you the, the retracements. And this is an ideal target for a fourth wave. So it's approaching the support region. It's got a descending trend line, potentially breakout point. And well, a break above the trend line could send it most likely, or at least there is a chance, potential, it sends it quite quickly up here, which is around 80 cents, yeah, which is uh, the January high. And then we take out these resistances. Next one would be around $1.71 and then getting all the way up there to $6 in the next bull run, yeah. So that would be likely as long as we're holding 13.9 cents because a break below the 50% retracement level would likely send it down in the white wave count, which is an ABC structure, ABC, you can count it like that as well. And then we only have a three wave move up. And the problem is we would then have a wave one to the downside, a corrective move, which means if the next move up is corrective, that's going to be a problem. Or if the wave one here in white breaks more directly below 13.9 cents, also a problem, then I would lean towards the white wave count. Until then, we can give the yellow one a chance and we would then follow through here to the downside like that. So this is a uh, bullish scenario. Just want to give you an idea of the weekly chart here. Certainly didn't want to do that. Uh, okay, yeah, wanted to give you an idea of the weekly chart targets for the next bull run potentially. And I will put this video into our long-term video playlist. Now, this is sort of just for orientation, this way five target, yeah? Um, it is basically a key Fibonacci level up there around $6 and the B wave high. So important would be that in the fifth wave, it actually goes above the third wave high, which was here at around yeah, $1, $1.70. Um, so it could extend quite a bit. But again, the condition is it's holding the 13.9 cent level. Looking at it short term, it's approaching this support area as I highlighted. And yeah, it's getting here to the end of a five wave move anyway. And a potential breakout higher, yeah, could then spark this rally. But again, we first need to see how it's reacting here to the 25, 26 cent range, which is the first cluster of support. And if it breaks below that, we had another level of support around 20.5 cents. This is a Fibonacci extension level we determined in previous videos and below that 13.9 cents. So these are the key levels below 13.9. Again, I have nothing bullish really on this chart. Yeah. Um, and just be aware that really all the main pivot between a rally, a fifth wave rally yeah, on the larger time frame um, to basically new highs or at least, well, potentially new all time highs, but at least new highs. That's the pivot is 15 point is the 13.9 cent level. The pivot between that rally and the breakdown to completely new lows and potential death for this chart. Yeah? Um, at least I have nothing bullish left below 13.9 cents. Now there is still decent space. Yeah, it can still drop another, yeah, basically 50%. So hopefully that will be enough to, to protect it, enough buffer. Um, but ideally it doesn't even drop much lower. That's my update about Mana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.